Yeah. So you, we, you and I had talked about a couple months ago, how already I had mentioned, he likes to sometimes touch feces and like, it's disgusting. And it's been, it's been an ongoing problem. And you gave me the tool and you said, well, what if you asked him, what could you do with your hands instead? And I did. And that we haven't had that. Pro- and so I asked him and he said, I could hold a book. I was like, of course you could hold a book. That's an amazing idea. <laughs> and he, he held a book maybe once or twice. And it hasn't been an issue since. Like it is completely resolved, wow. which is amazing because it was kind of like a, a thing. So you and I have been talking about, you know, um, responses also with Ari, like when he gets physical with me, how not to do the same thing. And like, clearly I don't want to be physical with my son, but sometimes I get so triggered that I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe you just hit me in the face again. (laughs) You know, like I'm raging. So we were sitting on the potty or he had gone to the restroom and I was wiping his bottom And I had, I typically, I wasn't even aware that I pull his shirt and he keeps saying, don't pull my shirt, don't pull my shirt. Anyway. And so I didn't realize that I've been bothering him and he turned around and he hit me Uh at face level. And so I took a deep breath because I glasses on. Oh, with the whole thing. Cause I really wanted to like pummel him. Yeah. I'm a violent person. And I took a deep breath and I was like, okay the next time you go to the bathroom from here on out you need to hold your shirt up so I can wipe your bottom and he has done it Mm. and he has not complained and it is it it, it was so simple that like it's so baffling how it's so hard to remember that we have to teach these kiddos everything you know Mm -hmm. like the things that and it, it was just a beautiful moment because it just, it was so simple and there was nothing big to it, you know, but it was giving him the ability to be in charge when I'm still wiping his butt, which he probably doesn't like, but he's, I'm not pulling him and manipulating him. He's being active in it. And so it was just so, um, it was such a beautiful example of when they have something to do when they're dysregulated they're not dysregulated anymore in that one moment. Yeah. Great. Yeah. It was really, it was really cool. And now I keep reminding him, I'm like, okay, I need you to hold your shirt. And he's like, just like this mommy. I'm like, yep, that's perfect. Oh, oh. Gosh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just, it, it, and it's, and it's helping to remind me that every time I get triggered from something that he's doing because he has his own feelings and <laughs> it's not what I want him to be that I have to give him another option. Yeah. Nice. Yay. Yeah. You yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that, Thanks for yeah. sharing that. Yeah. Thank you for, for giving me that. Cause it's, it's like, that's the part of this, this, the neuro relational framework that I am finding to be so beautiful. Like, it's not complicated, you know, and in this, in this Western world, in this weird society where we just want to breeze through everything and go so fast. Yes. I forget that I'm missing like these micro moments of teaching. Yeah. So, and it's all me. I mean, I don't have a lot of support, you know, in my family or from Ari's dad. He like, you are really on your own here. Yeah. Yeah. This is quite an accomplishment. Yeah. So it's it's great to have those tools. And I love that we can teach other parents how to do that because it's not rocket science. No. Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you.